So here's how to create a landing page in Go High Level. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to do so, or just simply try out Go High Level. Let's begin. So where we're gonna be here is on the left side, there's gonna be sites, and then we have funnels, and if you haven't created one, it's probably gonna look like this with nothing there. Let's change that and click on plus new funnel right here. So we have the ability of starting from scratch, not my favorite if you ask me, you can use Funnel AI which is currently in beta, or we can just use from templates, one of my favorite ways, especially for the fact that they have a lot of templates and it's going to allow you to get up and running pretty quickly and easily. Let's do that and click on continue. All right, so there's going to be many that you can choose from, whether you want to search for a template, you can go by most popular, most recent, you can browse categories, but ironically enough, the most popular one here is going to be the one I want to use. So this is an elementary smart funnel. We can obviously preview it, we can start it, but I am going to click on it. It's going to showcase what it looks like right here, talk about this template, similar templates, and so on and so forth. While it's going to give us a few templates that we can use, we just want to use this one and I'll show you how to delete the rest after. So let's use this one. Let's click on continue. All right, so here we are in the drag and drop editor. It's fairly straightforward. Anything that you want to change, simply click on and we're going to go from the top down. What I like about this template is that it already has everything that we need to use, which is good, right? So we can start up at the top here. Let's say we wanted to add our logo. We can click right there. We have image options. I'm going to click right here for these specific images. And I already have mine uploaded, but if you wanted to upload your own logo, simply click right here, find it on your computer, and then it's going to show up. All right, so let's say we did that. Let's click there. Let's do insert media. And just like that, we now have our nice little logo there. So if we wanted to change that background color, we can click on the big section right there and go to the background color. I think white's probably going to look the best here. Pretty plain, pretty simple, and it goes in line with everything else. Now, keep in mind, if you didn't want to use that section, you can always hover over it and delete it, which is going to be right there and just delete the entire section. I'm going to keep it there for now. So we're gonna work our way from the top to the bottom. And the reason why this is one of my favorite landing pages is because it's very simple to create. It's more of a pre-sell page. And if you like doing videos like yours truly, it's gonna do all the heavy lifting where you just need your headline, a little bit more, and of course a call to action, and then you just put your video there and let it do all the heavy lifting. So let's say this is gonna be a video about creating faceless YouTube videos you know, using AI. So we want a very powerful headline here. So I'm gonna give you an example. This is something that I always talk about and it's gonna be how to yay without boo, okay? So this is a little template that you can use for a lot of your headlines. It's very popular. Now that you know it, you're probably going to see it a lot if you kind of put on your marketing goggles, so to speak. So how to yay. This is something that your perfect audience wants to do. It's their biggest benefit in this case. What also you wanna include here is without did I really do without? <laughs> I left that without. All right, how to yay without about boo. Don't mind me there. It's very difficult to actually type, talk, and think, okay? So that's gonna be my excuse. So here it is. How to yay without boo. I'm sure like 20 seconds ago, you're like, James, what the heck does that even say? All right, so how to do something that they really wanna do without having to do this. Here is a perfect example. How to lose weight without counting calories. A lot of people want to lose weight. They don't want to count calories. I think that they should. It's probably one of the easiest ways of doing it. I used to be a personal trainer, so that's that's my thing. Another one, how to lose weight without living in the gym. How to lose weight without doing hours of cardio every day. Okay, so these are examples in weight loss, but you can do the same thing and say digital marketing or internet marketing. Okay, so how to build and grow your online business from scratch without losing your shirt on paid ads, okay? So that's a perfect one because a lot of people wanna get up and running without investing a ton of money. You don't always have to use ads to do it in the beginning. So in this case, like I said, we're talking about say something with uh, creating YouTube videos. So how to create all right, so this was gonna be the example. I just kinda of stopped it and then went forward. So how to create YouTube videos without ever showing your face, okay? So what you can do is something like this. We're gonna see that the italics uh, text color on the right is green, so I can go like this and I can italicize it, and now it's gonna actually pop out a little bit more. I'm gonna delete this just because that was there previously. So that's an example of one. I'm not saying you always have to use the how to yay without boo, but in case you need just some references or just some kind of inspiration, it's very easy to plug and play. Okay, so that's gonna be the main headline. This is probably the most important part. If it's not juicy or specific enough or just something that your perfect audience wants, the chances are much lower that they're actually going to be watching the video. Okay, so 
This is what I like to call a little bit extra. You can kind of say give a call to action like this right here. It says watch the video below to see a traffic doubling case study and learn how you can apply these simple principles to your own website. So it's a little bit more like click to watch the video below to see and I'm gonna add a little bit more just to make it more enticing. That also goes hand in hand with this. So give me one moment and then I'll explain. All right, so watch the video below to see how I quickly crank out YouTube videos with AI. So as you can see here, before we were talking about creating YouTube videos without showing your face, now I'm also adding in the aspect that you can use AI. So it's making it a little bit more sexier, so to speak, okay? So that's gonna be a little bit more. You can make it as bland as you want, like click here to watch the video below or click down below to watch the video so they know what to do. You can have a little bit more. You can be very flexible there, but all in all, it's usually like a call to action to tell them to click play to watch this and a little bit more if needed. Okay, so we have our video here, so I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, when we move to the right, there's gonna be video type. So if you have a different type of video, you can do that. I already have the video URL, so I'm gonna paste it in. And there's gonna be my pick to read review where I talk about doing this or just you know showcase how it works. So that's very straightforward, right? There's not much we need to do here. If we click on it, there's gonna be autoplay, which I highly recommend keeping off. Controls on is gonna be fine. Full width is good. You can change that if you want, but I think it generally looks fine how it is, okay? So we don't need this right here. They're not actually paying until like they go to the specific offer. And what I'm gonna do is click on this because now we have our button. So the text is gonna be something related to this. So like, yes. So I put yes, I wanna quickly create AI videos. And then I put click here to get started today. So just a little bit more. So there is gonna be a big benefit there and a call to action. So you can do both of those things within the button. We also have the link to, so if you wanna to go to a website, you can go to next step. This is simply going to be a website. Let me get my URL for this. All right, so there I have it, and you definitely wanna open it in a new tab. And the reason for this, because if you don't, they might be watching your video, they're gonna click on this button and it's going to interrupt them, it's gonna stop, and if they wanna go back, they could exit out of it and lose it all together. Overall, it's just usually best practice to open it up in a new tab, because even if they don't purchase now, they can always go back and watch more of your video, and I think that's a good thing. Okay, so this is just gonna be a little bit extra. This offer is only available. So you get a little bit more and say like, no, and for this one, I just put use coupon code W5TT3 to save more money. So I do have a coupon code for it. So this could be a little bit extra. Say like, note, the price could be rising soon. Note, if you purchase, you also get a bonus where you can reach out to me at this email to get it. Anything else there, you know, maybe an extra call to action, maybe a few more benefits, but I am just keeping it about as plain and simple as possible. The idea behind this is that you want the least amount of uh, distractions as possible. So let me click on save right here. All right, and it recommended that I update the SEO meta, but I am just gonna keep that as it is at the time. There's also down here, so you could do like copyright, you know, marketing island, something like that. If you had a privacy policy, you could put it there. If you had terms, and all you would do is simply link. So if you have a privacy policy, what you wanna do is hover over this or see drag and hold, and then click on the link, which is going to be right here. And once again, this is gonna be where your privacy policy would go. Obviously, put a random link there and uh, make sure you do a new window as well. And the same thing would be, you know, for the terms, support, anything else that you might have there. I'm gonna click on save. Okay, and what I wanna do is just go back very quickly. So as you can see, there's gonna be multiple steps in this. We just have a landing page for one specific reason, so we don't even need the rest of these. What you can do is click on X right here and then type in delete and click on delete. Give it a few seconds. And there we go. You can actually just do the same thing for all the other ones. I'm not gonna make you wait through it, so I'm gonna go through and delete these other steps. And uh, once this is done, I'll get right back to you and I'll show you overall what the landing page looks like. All right, so there we are. We just have one simple landing page here and I'm gonna preview it for you so we can talk about it, give you a little bit more insight before we wrap up this video. So if you wanna preview it, you can go right here. All right, perfect. So we have our logo at the top. And like I said previously, if you don't wanna use that, you can completely delete all of this section here. And upon doing this, 
all of this is going to be pushed up a little bit more. So you can do that if needed. So how to create YouTube videos without ever showing your face. So how to thing that they want to do without say ever showing your face and something else to think about while this is stated one way, there's also multiple ways that you can say this. So ideally, if you were really looking to split test in the future, you want to think about different ways that this might be, I guess you could say statable. So how to create YouTube videos without ever getting in front of a camera. Camera. like because you're not showing your face that's another way of showing it right how to quickly create videos maybe you're not using the YouTube angle once again without ever you know spending a ton of money that could be one without ever hiring someone to do it without ever outsourcing it so there's a lot of different ways to say it okay then once again down below we usually have a call to action or a little bit more this is both watch the video below to see how we quickly crank out YouTube videos with AI or say using artificial intelligence once again some things that you can test but this is going to be the biggest thing that you do on a split test so if you ever did do that you would duplicate this page you would keep this headline and then you would just test one that's kind of similar not too much different so you know which one is going to be the best overall we have our video here i'm not going to click play it's going to talk over me but ideally what's going to happen here is that if they go through they like what they have to see they can click on here they can take in the pictory and if they want to purchase they can also use this coupon code to save a little bit of money so you're going to notice here that the only things that they can do is watch this video and or click on this button. There's nothing else that they can do aside from hitting back or closing the page. And that is a very important aspect of a landing page. There is one focus here. So what is the main focus ideally to get them to click here and make a purchase? So if you do have a pre-sale page, you're probably gonna wanna do the same. The video is here to bolster that, to show them how to do this specifically, show them the simplicity of it, how it can work. And of course, if they wanna make a purchase, that's what they can do. You're also going to notice that there's no ads here, right? There's no footer. There's no header where it has a menu where it says, you know, here are my blog posts. Here is another random post that you might like. Here's an advertisement. Here is a pop-up. Here is a banner. All right. And that's the idea of a landing page. You want to focus on it and your one main goal and everything is going to be centered around that to help increase your chances of converting. So I hope that makes sense. A very simple and straightforward landing pages, but anytime I am doing demos and tutorials with software. I love creating a tutorial when it comes to creating landing pages like this, because if you're like me and you love doing videos, these are so easy to do. You can always just save this as a template, duplicate it, change out the headline, change out a little bit before, plug in your video, and of course the call to action in your URL, and it really doesn't take all that long to create. So that's gonna conclude this tutorial when it comes to creating a landing page and go high level. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. However, I have been flooded with comments lately, so it is very hard to do. So if I can't answer you, someone else might be able to. And last but not least, if you haven't gotten to check out go high level, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to get started with them for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.